I've been asked to RGB mod this PC Engine Duo R, which is nice. I've never worked on one of these before, I've never owned one, I've never seen one before, but it is very, very beautiful. So, armed with a big bag of components, and a little circuit board, and a DIN 8 plug, and some very crude instructions, let's do this. As standard, the output is just a composite. It's got a 5-pin DIN plug on the back, and it's basically, yeah, just a single wire for video. But it is possible to get RGB out if you change this for a DIN 8. I'll just show you this bad boy working. Nice. I actually don't think the composite video is that bad quality, but seemingly the RGB is much, much better. So before I start taking this apart, I'm going to start with the little board, which I need to populate because it's not pre-populated. So here's the board. Silver Fox 0786. All the values for the components are on the back of it, so I've just taken a photo of it so I can reference it easy enough. Right, that was a good start. I've done it wrong. They're in the wrong place. It's because the photo is flipped and I'm an idiot. They need to go on these three here. <sighs> That's better. Right, and then on this one next to it, we've got the video amplifier, which needs to go on there. I presume that line there correspond with that line there. Right, all done. It's not the neatest, but everything's where it should be. Right, now that's done, all I have to do is take apart the PC engine and try and work out where it goes. So strap on, everybody. Right, let's shout out the Holy Hand Grenade patrons while I'm taking this apart. Many thanks to Tidder, Ellis Garbutt, Jamrag Berlin, and Oz Newton. Much appreciated, guys. Okay. Let's get this board out. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to remove this DIN connector. Yeah, let's do that first. So the main difference between these two is the ground legs here. These are a lot closer together than these, but if you can see here, there is holes ready to accept this. So I'm going to try and take this apart, take these ground legs out, 
and swap them into here. There we go. As easy as that. Actually, before I put this back together, we need to cut some of these legs, the back three legs here. There's obviously no space for those on the circuit board because there's only five holes and we've got eight pins, eight legs. So we need to cut these so that they sit above the circuit board, but that we can still solder to the legs at the back here. We also need to cut the C-Sync leg because I don't want to cut the trace on the circuit board. And if I remember rightly, it's this top left one here, which is C-Sync. Essentially what we're doing is we're cutting it so that it does not make a contact with the circuit board. And then we can solder a wire to the top of the leg like we're going to do with the R, G and B. Now we should just be able to pop this back together, like so. Nice. So you can see these three legs here and now below the plastic casing and also this leg here. So we've got one, two, three, four and the two ground pins. So we can solder that back in now. Let's put the RGB board in. So I need to take some signals from this Hudson chip here. I need to take power and ground and I need to output to here. So I'm thinking the best position for this is going to be around here somewhere. Straight line almost, straight line. And I could probably take power and ground from this chip or from one of these capacitors. On the diagram it says to take the power and ground from C631. So we're just going to have a look where that is. That's this little fella here. So that is quite close. I'm going to see if there's any chip anywhere on this chip that I can run it from. So let's try and find a ground. Plenty of grounds. Got a ground right at the end here. Looks like pin 60. And positive. Looks like we can take it from pin 90. Or pin 61. That'd be handy. 60 and 61. Let's do that.
C sync to pin 44, G to pin 47, R to 49 and B to 51. Beautiful. Right, and there we have it. I think it's quite a nice, neat job, that. Hopefully it works. Okay, here it is. Let's test it. Nice. Well, it looks good so far. It looks beautiful. Stupid game. What stupid game to play to make me feel this way? What a stupid thing to do to let me dream of you. What a stupid thing to say. Never felt this way. What a stupid thing to do to make me dream.